Welcome back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Simon Von Let's get right into it with the VIC readings, the format where we look at the best of the best value investment out there by the best of the best value investors. Today, we have uh, KC International Inc. CLA. Um, KC, C-A-C-Y. Uh, C-A-C-I, I'm sorry. Um, filed it on a tom- November 6th. Um, the price at that point was $295.76. Description. KC Inc. checks a lot of boxes for the kind of business one can own for the long term and sleep well, regardless of the interest rate environment or geopolitical chaos. The company is well positioned uh, for the uncertain geopolitical environment we are facing, offers the attractive combination of top-line growth and margin expansion, limited, uh, limited cyclicality and a strong balance sheet. A competent management team and trades for a below market multiple despite its growing backlog. Casey hasn't been written up on VIC in almost nine years and today offers an attractive place to invest capital for long-term oriented shareholders, hoping to dodge some of the more of the more volatile minefields in today's market. Company background. KC provides consulting and technology services, primarily in, to the U.S. defense and intelligence agencies. Their services support national security missions and the modernization within the intelligence, defense, and federal civilian sectors. Casey talks about its business in terms of providing two basic kinds of services, expertise and technology. Expertise services including um, includes software development, data and business analysis, analysis and IT operations uh, support for internal agency operations. Specific examples include naval architecture, marine engineering, and special ops intelligence support. Technology services include a network and IT modernization, ERP systems, electronic warfare, cyber operations, and radio frequency and 5G spectrum awareness, agility, and usage, among many others. The, the Department of Defense is Casey's single last, largest customer, uh, compromising roughly 70% of revenues with federal civilian agencies accounting for the bulk of the remaining business. Domestic Intelligence Agencies, DOJ, Department of Agriculture, Department of Health and Human Services and State Department. This is a small international business, but it is not material to the story. The investment case for KC today consists of five basic pillars. Number one, budgetary and geopolitical tailwinds. As a company effectively reliant on one customer, the budgetary environment plays an outsized role in the industry's contracting trends and activities. And KC adjusts their strategies to take this into consideration at all times. For the total of $1.5 trillion in discretionary funding in the US, um, 2022 budget at 782 billion was sorry, 782 billion was earmarked for defense, a figure that represented an increase of 5.6% over the previous year. The 2023 budget has not yet been finalized. On September uh, 30th, um, Congress passed a CR extending government funding through December 16th, 2022 at last year's spending levels. But all in- indications are that the budget for defense spending is going higher. The current geopolitical backdrop has resulted in continued strong demand and bipartisan support for national security and and modernization priorities. As the 2023 budget is currently moving through Congress, uh, the company is seeing favorable indications. Higher spending on defense, intelligence and homeland security. Um, This results in higher spending in key addressable areas for KC, digital solutions, enterprise IT, C4ISR, cyber and space. KC is a direct beneficiary of what looks to be an attractive defense spending environment for years to come. The conflict in Ukraine, volatile energy markets and rumblings in China all work in KC's favor. Healthy financial profile. Casey has a consistent track record of mid-single-digit organic top-line growth and has supplemented this growth with bolt-on acquisitions, eight over the past three years, to achieve a 9% CAGR over the past five years. 
The runway for additional M&A is long despite the, the higher rate environment. And management has shown itself to be a disciplined acquirer in an industry with a generally robust M&A pipeline. Leverage currently sits at a modest 2.3x LTM EBITDA. The strong cash flow profile of the business offers management significant op optionality to deploy to deploy capital. I'm sorry, capital flexibility and opportunistically as events unfold in the in the world. Ex Goodwill, uh, the RIC profile of the business is extremely attractive, 30 plus percent, but is a more modest but stable HSD when including Goodwill. However, much of the $4 billion in goodwill on the balance sheet was invested many years ago. And the current CEO has been in the role since 2019. To the extent that he deploys capital into M&A more effectively than his predecessors. This number could move higher over time. Three, attractive near-term earnings outlook. The limited cyclicality of Casey's business is particularly attractive in an environment where changing interest rates and Fed's tightening moves have dramatically impacted the near-term demand picture for a large swath of the market. The bipartisan nature of uh, support for near-term defense spending coupled with uh, geopolitical headwinds mentioned above um, provide an increasingly rare healthy outlook for earnings in the current market. Impressive management. John Mangucci has served as Casey CEO since 2019 and has done an excellent job managing the business while investing ahead of customers' customer needs in a wide variety of different areas. He focuses squarely on free cash flow per share as his metric uh, as his preferred metric for business performance and owns close to 30 million in stock. In March of 2021, the company entered into AISR with JP Morgan and repurchases of 2 million shares of stock. On the Q1 F 2023 FY call, the company acknowledged that M&A pipeline isn't quite as robust currently as it has been in the past. The debt paydown and the recent working capital management has been similar to the period in early 2021 when the company launched its previous ASR. Perhaps I'm reading too much into management's comments on the most recent call, but it seems another ASR could be a possibility in the near term, given the current M&A environment, strength of the, of the balance sheet, and earnings backdrop on the business. In either case, Mengucci stresses that he intentionally avoids the word balanced, the word balanced when it comes to capital allocation, preferring to act opportunistically in response to changing conditions on the ground. Undemanding valuation. Casey currently trades at 16x forward year estimates. Compared to peers that trade closer to 30x and to the S&P 500 forward year PE of 19x, this is too cheap. Given the stability of Casey's business, the optionality afforded by its strong balance sheet and the company's near-term earnings outlook. It's also, also worth noting uh, it's also worth nothing that less than two months ago, the Carly, the Carly Group completed its acquisition of a current competitor, Mantech International, for 4.2 billion or 20x, uh, 26x earnings. Risks. Investors tend to worry about government budget headwinds with these businesses, particularly around elections. But congressmen and congresswomen on both sides of uh, the aisle are unusually united in the support for Ukraine, and this bipartisan support is very likely to lead to higher expenditures on defense. An, unusual an, an unusually tight labor market presents the possibility of higher wage costs and margin degradation, but management pointed out on the most recent call that 60% of Casey's revenues cost plus, and on these contracts, higher wages get passed along to the customer. For the remaining fixed-priced contracts, Casey's projects are significantly diversified and management has a strong track record of keeping those costs in check and achieving margin targets. M&A activity always introduces risk. 
But transformational M&A appears to be off the table and any activist is almost certain to be limited to the kind of small digestible transactions Casey has been executing successfully. In sum, Casey is an attractive, attractively sorry, attractively priced non-cyclical business with a healthy near-term outlook, a growing backlog, a strong balance sheet, and a histor history of organic top-line growth, driven by new customer wins and on-contract growth. Management has an established history of consistent value creation and broader geopolitical tailwinds are currently very favorable. I believe the appetite for these types of businesses is increasing significantly as investors continue to acclimate to the new rate environment sector volatility within the market. Catalyst. Finalization of U.S. 2023 fiscal year budget. Continued is stable top and bottom line growth. Accreditive M&A. Thank you very much for tuning in.